Hello, my name is Marshall with DIYVanLife.com, here to give you a presentation of the Pivot Van. Work hard and play hard. The Pivot Van story starts with me looking for a new installation vehicle for my business. I started watching YouTube videos on rams, transits, etc. And that led me through the rabbit hole called Van Life. My background also includes a history of racing motorcycles. And back in the mid 90s, I developed a theft recovery class C motorhome into what I call the first fun mover. So I didn't come into this without any experience. The name of the business I mentioned is Keep Space Overhead Storage, which is installation of a product called Keep Track in the greater Phoenix area and sometimes in Southern California. When I would come back, I would bring back five pallets of 27 gallon storage totes. That's 250 totes that I could fit inside this van without removing anything to do with the camper van itself. The pivot van was designed to carry cargo, thereby with a weight bias front to rear axle that would allow for the rear end to be loaded with more weight. With all the camper weight, tanks, batteries, seats, etc. as far forward as possible. The van has 400 amp hours of battleborne lithium on board. The EV stations are now an alternative to plugging in at home, giving you shore power on the go. Solar, generator, battery to battery, alternator charging are all used to keep up the batteries. The climate in Arizona requires the best of air conditioning, and there's nothing better than a mini split. Being a work van, the problem is, where does the outside unit go? Well, as you can see, it needed to be hidden. The space was available in place of the spare tire. However, the unit needed to be vertical to run properly. The solution is very simple. Tuck the unit up, run down the road with clearance, drop the unit down, get airflow, oils in the proper places, and just don't ever forget it's down and drive off. The necessity to hide the air conditioner was twofold. Being a stealth work van looking vehicle, it one, enabled me to park in places and not be suspected as an RV, and it also kept the image I wanted for my business. The end result was well worth it. The mini split not only keeps up with the cooling demands, but is inverter technology which is ultra efficient and whisper quiet. Come Friday night, it's time to pivot, head out of town. This van offers seating for four, dining for four, home theater for four with the bed murphyed all the way to the back of the van and more space for bringing more things that are more fun. Now that's a real garage, five by seven you can stand up in. The steel security drawer for your cameras, laptops and phones pulls out, cutting board drops on and extends your counter. Large tilt out laundry and garbage are on the sink side, the microwaves above the other counter and a mirror. Collapse those seats into the pedestal and there's room for two kids to sleep and the adults in the back on a real mattress. That's seats four for driving, seats four for dinner, and sleeps four at night. The seats in the van are so diverse. They tip into the pedestal for forming a bed. They lean back into a TV watching position, can tilt forward to get out of the way to get in and out of the van, can collapse down and become a stool that you can use at the counter and they can also get out of the way for the use of the facilities we'll call them porta potty by tipping forward the permanent shower was out of the question but this shower is bigger better and catches every drop no van is for everyone but this van could be for you Thank you for listening. Find us on DIYVanLife.com for more information.